What's going on, lords and ladies? Swizzle here, and today I'm bringing you guys uh, a Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary. And uh, I want to tell you guys a little story from my life, an in real life story from a Call of Duty commentator. And uh, today I'm going to tell you guys a story about how I, um, you know, I uh, stole my teacher's car keys. Uh, yeah, it's it's not like well, it is exactly what it sounds, but um, uh, so I'll tell you the story anyway. So when I was in year five, so I was ten or eleven, um, I was in this class with my teacher, uh, and just for you know discretion or whatever they call it, I'm just gonna um keep a name sort of quiet, and I'm just gonna call her Toby. Yeah, I was in a class for Miss Toby, and um. Yeah, so, uh, and bear in mind, me and everyone in this class hated Toby, so, um, the thing that I decided to do, thinking I was all clever and mighty, was, you know, I was sat on the carpet listening to a load of bullshit that she had to say, and, you know, I turned to my friend and I said, um, dude, um, oh, why don't we just steal a car, I don't know, whatever, whatever I said, um, and, you know, he was, like, all up for it and everything, so, you know, we got there at dinner time, we got to the end of the class, and she... The, like, so, how I found out that we, we could do this was because my seat, like, on the carpet, we had to sit in, like, rows and stuff, and uh, when I was sat down, like, on the floor to listen to her, um, I was sat right next to a coat, so, like, when I lean on a coat to take, you know, a good five-minute snooze, um, she pops her head uh, around the corner, and, uh, you know, she wakes me up every time, so... Um, what I do is I hide behind a coat, and while I was hiding behind a coat, um, you know, I could feel, uh, I could feel the keys in, uh, her pocket, so, you know, uh, that was that, anyway, that's how I knew they were there. So then, um, my friend was all up for it, in fact, I think he was the one who actually suggested doing it in the first place, but, uh, I was the only one who was not pussy enough to do it, so my friend was called Buck, in case you don't know. Um, so, we were gonna, you know, we were gonna have a dabble, we were gonna do this shit. And then uh, we get there at the last moment and he says he needs to go for a wee. You know, he needs to go to the toilet. So I was like, right, fine, make it quick. So uh, when he comes, um, uh, when he comes back, he says, um, I can't do it. So I was like, what the fuck? So um, basically, I'm, you know, I just do it anyway. And um, yeah, so that's, I go in and, and I take the car keys, you know, I slip my hand into a pocket and... And don't, by the way, guys, I'm perfectly normal now. I think I was like a little angry child when I was younger, but, um, you know, that was what was going on then. Um, so, that's how it happened. That's how, um, you know, so I, I went in and I took, took the keys, quick, snidey little hand to the pocket, and I got them. And, well, actually, it wasn't very snidey. I just ran in under the pocket, grabbed them, and I ran to the toilet. So, if you can imagine, like, the classroom and then open a door and there's the corridor where the toilet is so I opened the door bang corridor toilet went in there and um, you know that's how it happened that so I jumped around the corner and uh, she was there well she wasn't there actually the toilet was there should I say I went in and you know by this time I was absolutely shitting bricks so uh, I needed a wee as well so I threw them in the toilet and then I realized that I actually did need a wee because you know if you've ever played hide and seek when you were younger uh, and you knew like you needed the toilet when you were in the middle of hiding because of all the excitement well that was pretty much what it was but it wasn't excitement so uh, I, you know I go to the toilet on top of these keys and I don't flush it and I just run outside start playing football with my friends try and forget about it um, 10 minutes later uh, my, f my other friend he's called Jack as well um, he you know he dips his head around the corner and he says um miss um so you know she goes up to him and um she throws he you know he pulls the keys like shows them flashes them in front of her face and says look these were found in the thing i don't know whose they are so miss like goes to a complete and utter meltdown and he's just like you know like so toby goes into a complete and utter meltdown and he's like uh, who's done this to my keys and all that lot. so uh, eventually we had an assembly and Basically, we had like a little like a group assembly. You know, everyone. In, I just dropped something. Everyone in the class, like everyone in my, you know, sort of like, you know, year. We're all gathered into an assembly. A uh, year by year, should I say? Like all the years, were sent into like an assembly hall. One by like one year by year. Um, to try and find out who from each year had done this. 
Uh, and eventually, you know, I just owned up to it. I was like, yeah, I think she's a bitch and I hate her. And, you know, I speak to her now. I think she, you know, she, she likes me now. But I'm honestly not too sure. But, yeah, so that was a story about how I stole my teacher's keys. If you have any weird stories about your teachers, leave them in the comments section below. I'd really love to find out. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Until the next episode, guys, and until the next video, uh, leave a like. It's greatly appreciated to help the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh...